Okay. So in if you look at yogurt in general, like yogurt is you could look at I guess it really depends, but I would look at yogurt as a carb for most cases, unless you get like a really clean um I'm not, I'm not like a super yogurt person, so you have to bear with me. I used to eat yogurt all the time, but yogurt's ingredients are rarely clean. Um, there's tons of sugar and tons of like modified starch and all kinds of nonsense in there. So um, in most cases, it's a carb, but you can find better, cleaner ones that are higher in protein and I believe lower in carbs. But I would read the ingredients at any time. So... I'm putting, so I'm putting, I put yogurt in here. This is dairy free yogurt. Again, you can use dairy yogurt if you want. So, um, and then this is at zero sugar. But what's nice about vanilla protein is it's flavored. And I mean, it's flavored and there's no sugar in there. So what I'm going to do, so you have your carbs. So in most cases, you want to find all, to make a meal, you want to have all your macronutrients. So you want to have a protein, a slow carb. You want to have antioxidants and fiber my gosh protein carb fat antioxidants and fiber yes i say it all the time okay so we're going to add sprinkle some hemp seeds into our yogurt okay so hemp seeds are a superfood which means they're a complete protein they have all the essential amino acids so this is actually you're adding protein in here these also have tons of healthy fats so what i'm going to do i'm going to hold this up high enough so you can see, and hopefully I don't miss the bowl. <laughs> okay, I don't really measure. You could probably put two to four tablespoons in there, depending on your preference or palate. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix that up. So now we have our carb, is the yogurt, and now we have healthy fats and even added protein. So we have two of our antioxidants. There's also lots of fiber. I don't have an added fiber, like for me, and added fiber is like, in most cases, is a vegetable. So I'm not going to throw a vegetable in here. But, you know, it's kind of cool. Is this lady that is she's growing tomatoes. And she gave me like a whole bowl of tomatoes. And it's sitting on my counter. So anytime I go, anytime I go there, I grab a tomato and pop it in my, my mouth. So tomato is actually a fruit. But it has tons of antioxidants. And it also has lycopene in it lycopene in it which helps make your skin more elastic so maybe that'll help some of you avoid those makeup companies <laughs> that, that, <laughs> i'm laughing at myself here but like it's so ridiculous to me like like oh it's i just did a video i just did a whole podcast on like the toxins we put on our bodies but some of the promises that companies make are ridiculous and then we believe them like like we eat them up like oh i could look like a 19 year old like <laughs> i don't really enjoy wrinkles they're gray hair but i don't want to look like a 19 year old either so and <laughs> at any rate um okay so then of course we have our we have our protein so then I'm, so now i'm just going to sprinkle my protein so when i put this in my yogurt i just use a half a scoop that's just because it mixes better the half a scoop <laughs> only like I could make it mix better if I was going to eat more yogurt but that's about as much yogurt as I want that's probably a cup of yogurt okay and then I'm going to mix this up and that's it so with this for example that you have 25 grams of protein with just the pro with just the um with just the protein like the protein powder. And then we added hemp seed, which is again is a complete protein, also has healthy fats. And then we have our um we have our yogurt, which is a slow carb. So you have a pretty complete meal right here. And that's it. Like that's this could be a breakfast. Like it's cr like this could be a breakfast, right? How many people say I don't have time for breakfast or I don't have time to cook or I don't feel like it or I don't have the ingredients like go in by three ingredients put it on your counter 